Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Super Smash Bros. Ultimate World of Light. That's a very long name, but that's okay. Now we have a few extra fighters and spirits. We can't get those two though. Have to go a different way. We can also now go to our skill tree and actually up something with the points that we have. So I might do tilt attack up because I usually use the control stick whenever I'm doing an attack. So I should probably do that. And now that we've unlocked that, we can actually unlock the other two directly connected to it. So, shield durability up, and shield damage up. Increases the damage dealt to enemy shields, and increases shield strength. But anyway... Let's get back into our journey, since we need to go this way, the only way we have to go. I don't even know how to pronounce your second name. Tron Bone? I'm gonna guess. He was playing as Wendy, which I th think... I don't know. Anyway. I think Wendy is a... Um... What's the word? Like an ultimate... Ul alternate version of a different character. Take your strongest team into this no frills battle. Which means that basically it's just a regular battle, no extra... things involved. Okay, this this Wendy is actually uh, 3,600 team power, so I guess it's a good thing I leveled up a, lo a, few, a lot before. Let's get into this fight. There's also two Robs that we can uh, have a look at taking out, maybe. Oh my goodness. Ah, don't burn me. Okay, there's goes Wendy. Just need to get rid of those other two robs. And we are done here. Very nice, that's a new primary. But we're gonna keep going. Okay, path opens up to us, and we have a few things we can go do. We can go through this whole area here, which is unlocked to us. Probably some of the some of it might be a little bit too difficult to get through, which is the main thing that we're going to have problems with. Because if an enemy has a really high combat power, we're not going to be able to get past them. So we have choices to make. We can also now figure out what we want to do um, based on the type advantages that we have. So. Octoling, I believe, means that we can have an advantage by having our newly found spirit with us. But I'm probably going to want to level up, so I might do that really quick. Once I actually find a way to level up. And do that a whole bunch. Don't want to use up all my CP... No, my SP power. That's the one. So now... We're a little bit lower in combat power, but we've also got an extra slot for an extra character. So let's use Guardian, which means we're going to have a very good resist up. Except that this Guardian takes up two slots. I probably want to switch out my team, so let's go with that. We've actually got a lot more team power now with that Guardian there, so that's good. Let's go into this fight. I think we have less attack though, so... I think the combat power is actually just the combination of attack and defense Ready? points, possibly. Go! I might be wrong about that, but anyway. We have four inklings to take out, and they are... Where did I get this gust bellows from? I'm not complaining, because it means I can blow this inkling away, but also, where did I get it from? Go, 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 go. Oh, I ran out. Oh, get up, get up, get up, get up. Nice. Grab this gun to keep shooting. Possibly just fire it out. I am getting smashed right now by these Inklings. Octolings? I don't know. They're playing... The Octolings playing as Inklings. Also, this is a stamina battle, so that's good for me. Because they're both dead. Victory! The Inkling actually plays very interestingly because it has its own ink meter. Because that's how that works for that character. Which means they have to actually hold down to get their ink back. So that they can do some more special attacks. Got the Octoling unlocked now for another spirit, which is a... I think it's a primary if it's got a uh, a type, which is shield, so... 
defense, which would be good. Now, I guess that means that we have that. We can actually get rid of this one over here as well. Just gonna pick Octroling. Um, I guess I'll just keep using Celeste for now until we get another better uh, support spirit. The enemies' explosions and fire attacks have been increased power. Uh, favors side specials. I didn't read the last one, but that's okay. Also, thank goodness for Xenoblade Chronicles being a playable anything in this game. I love Xenoblade Chronicles, and I'm glad that... I'm glad that characters from Xenoblade Chronicles and... Maps and music have also been added. Oh, 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 oh. Also, it's a, it's a strategy in, like, old games to just, like, jump off the edge as, as Kirby with a character in Kirby's mouth, because you can do that. I remember having a lot more trouble with that fight, unless I'm thinking about a different fight. I might be thinking about a different fight. Although I might be thinking about the same fight. It did take me a while my first time to actually figure out how to level up spirits and how that actually mattered. And I didn't actually realize that there was a combat power and just... I was just fighting them and I just thought I was doing alright, And but then I got stuck on one because it had a really high combat power. Let's see, what's this one? Fiora! Speaking of Xenoblade Chronicles, you have 9,300 defense. Well, combat power, that was the one. Can I increase my spirit more enough? Uh, the answer is not really. Fiora seems like a very strong opponent, except I have the type advantage, so I might be able to do something with that. Um... I have the thing. Let's go with this team. Playing as Lucina. Ready, go. I think this is the fight that I remember being difficult, probably. It's the same map that I'm, I remember it being on, and I remember there being two fighters. Oh, my defense went down. Don't do that. Oh my goodness. Also, just the down... Ah. Kirby's down special is usually... ...used a lot early game. Just because that's the only move that you can really rely on... ...that much. Oh, that's a bad spot to be in. Where am I? I'm way over here. I need to get back on the screen. If you're off... If you're very close to the edge of the screen, it's also... You're also gonna take a lot more damage from being slightly off-screened. Oh my goodness, I can't believe I won that battle with 119%. Okay, Fiora, made of metal, means we can become made of metal, which means we're heavier, but we also do more damage, I think. Starts battle in metal form, become harder to launch. Okay, so that explains itself, really. That might be a good one to have. I think that's actually a support spirit, so that's really good, but it might cost multiple slots, possibly, probably, if I had to guess. It's just too good. Early game. Mill tank. Okay, this this will work. You're not very strong compared to me. Fiora is actually a one slot. That's actually pretty good. Enemy is special has increased power. Neutral special has increased power. Okay, we started meta, which is good. Hard to launch us. But we also fall a little bit faster, which is a little bit weird to deal with. I'm really focusing a little bit too much, maybe, at the moment. Okay, uh, we've lost our metal power because it only lasts for a little bit of time. We also haven't had a chance to use our final smash yet because we need to build that up a lot before we can actually use it. And usually it takes a lot longer battles to actually build it up. Mill tank, insta drop, which means we can drop by while tilting down the air. What? Hang on. Grants the ability to do a quick drop attack by tilting down while in the air. That looks like a good attack, probably, but I don't think I'm going to need it. Probably. Okay, you can also uh, unlock fighters for multiplayer outside of adventure mode if you want to do it like that. 
but you can also unlock them in this mode if you want to get better at playing the game before actually fighting against other players. Probably highly recommended. Anyway, Master Anna playing as Lucina from Fire Emblem. I'm pretty sure they're both from Fire Emblem. I think it says the Fire Emblem series at the top of the screen. That's what I'm going off of. I'd love to play Fire Emblem and know more about the game, but this is this is what I have to work with. All fighters' melee weapons have increased power after a little while. Items will be pulled towards the enemy. Interesting. Let's get a strong, strong setup. Weapon resist. Um. I can go with anything I really want right now because it's just neutral uh, typing right now. So let's go with our strongest st stuff right now. Here we go. Ready? This is actually something that's probably important to do early on. We can also break part of the level in this map, I believe. I'm not sure if it's... Yeah, we can do it from down here. Breaking these platforms. Strengthened weapons, that's not good for me. Ow! Also, sometimes the enemies will just start with that you don't have. Ow! Hang on. I missed. Oh, did you pick it up? No. But anyway. And that's how you cheese a battle, is you throw items at the enemy when they're really close to the end of the screen. Master Spirit, Anna. Building a spirit team to be strong against your opponents is wise, uh, but your reward will be greater if you manage to win with a weak team. Good advice. Auto pick. You can press Y to automatically assemble your. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and cycle through different things. Anyway, Anna's location is now now open, which means if we go into the shop here, it's a shop. Who would have guessed that I would call something a shop as a shop? You can spend the SP you've earned on new items and spirits. Some items may even go on sale from, from time to time. So yeah, the shop will actually change every now and then. And right now has uh, Pyra, uh, Ivan, a skill sphere times five. So we'll get five skill spheres from this if we had... Oh, we do have enough. Uh, there's also Takamaru available so we have a few spirits and also some skill spheres there's also snacks that you can buy and yeah but obviously you'll need a lot of sp to actually buy some things and we'll probably have to grind a lot to get every spirit but that's already that's already how that works anyway let's grab those um skill orbs and let's see if i can actually spend those because i think i can i might want to start branching out this side because you want to branch out both ways uh, slightly increases the power of neutral attacks, such as jabs. Definitely worth it. You can also see the cost by the number next to each one. Defense up when healthy. 20 required. Breaking ability, making make stopping e easier when walking or running. Okay. I can see how you're doing it. But yeah. Let's go out of that and let's look around elsewhere. We can see that there's a fighter right here. So let's have a look at Don, playing as Luigi. And let's actually pick a better team that's going to be helpful. Um, Fiora. Yeah, that seems like a good setup. I might actually save this team. You can actually put in actual names that you want your teams to be, but I'm, I'm going to be switching stuff up so much. Earthquakes will shake the stage. This enemy starts with a hammer. Gotta stay away from that. Because that's actually a pretty good item to have. We can also do dodge moves with uh, back button ZL and ZR buttons, which is useful. We can actually just dodge in midair by doing that, and also dodge roll on the ground if we are ever on the ground. Oh, bunny is. Give me that. It means I can run super fast. Earthquake. No, 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 no. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Oh my goodness, I can jump so high. Whee! Okay, please let me actually hit you. 
Oh, you're not gonna... Oh, you did, though. Why did you do that? Some platforms, if you press do double tap down on it, you can actually go through it. Oh, Don actually gives us a... He's a primary who gives us... Speed down? I think that's what that says. By the down arrow. But anyway. I guess that's a good thing if you want more... Heavy characters. But anyway. Let's keep going. And we can actually unlock Link. So let's have a look at doing that. We already have a good setup for this party, so let's go into this fight. Oh my goodness, Link. The music, just... Everything about this is cool. Breath of the Wild is amazing. Oh, I really wanted that. Oh, Link, you fool. Oh, Link, you fool. Oh, you nearly did it again, but anyway. Oh, he has bombs, by the way. Which are very strong if you get... ...too close to them, because he can actually detonate them from wherever he wants to. Link joins the battle! And I get a whole ton of skill spheres. That's probably good. So there we go. Uh, where do I want to go? I can go anywhere I want. It doesn't matter what order I do things in, so... Um, I probably want to head up, though. Shield damage. I think I want more shield durability. Because that's burning through whenever I was facing off against Luigi. Don. That one. Now, I think... I have options. I can open up new areas, probably. There's also some chests on the map that you can find. As long as you can reach it by getting past all the spirits in the way, you can open them, so... Professor Chops. Let's fight. Um... Can I get something... I guess that's actually a pretty good setup. It's not very strong because the primary hasn't leveled up yet. But I guess if I fight in a fight, I'll level that up, so... Even if I lose, so... Let's go! Oh, Donkey Kong. Oh, I forgot there's a platform there. There's also a barrel on the bottom of the screen that can help you to... ...get up if you want to. Oh wow, you have a lot of stuff, I guess. Also, banana peels. If we just throw them on the ground, they'll turn... ...have their things red on them, which means that they'll stun... ...our opponents for us, and that is a good thing. Oh my goodness. Ow. Very nice. I almost launched him. Oh, he did launch. Sometimes you'll launch enemies and then they'll fly off into the background. Professor Chops actually gives us stamina up when we're in a stamina battle, so... That's actually very helpful to have early on, because we're gonna need that whenever we get in a stamina battle. Just so we have more health in a fight. Let's see what's in this chest. Spirit points. SP, thank, thank you very much. And actually, we can complete this loop if I get rid of this last spirit here, which would probably be a good idea. Raphael the Raven. Playing as Giant King Dedede. Also, this music. I don't think I've even heard some of the songs in this game before, which is surprising considering I've gone through the whole playlist on YouTube to listen to it. I guess I need to do that again. Just because there are so many good songs. Also, some of the songs aren't even from the original games, but also just remixes in this game, which is really cool. Um, that's a good setup. Let's go. I'm going to be way overpowered, but it's going to be a good setup, and let's win this. Super Mario Galaxy is cool. It's a good thing that King Diddy's struggling to launch me because I'm made of metal right now. Because I don't think he would have that much trouble otherwise. Just because he's so huge. Ow! No, 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 please don't, please don't, please don't. Okay, throw that at you. Oh, that's a bomb on the ground. If he steps on it, it'll explode. But also, if we step on it, it'll explode. What?! I thought that was my hit on him, but nope, he got me. That's impressive. 
Let's try this again. It didn't even get us final smash or anything. Ready? Go! Nice. Good 25%. Another good 25%, a little bit more than that though. And he's off the screen a little bit, which is good for me because it also means that- Ow! Also means that he takes a bit of damage from being off screen. Very nice. Bunny Hood is gonna make this a little bit crazy, especially with the slight low gravity. Ow! Ow! Got hit twice by that. Oh my goodness, his jump attack also. He's at 100 now, I think I can hit him off the edge and he's done. The closer you are to the edge of the screen, the easier it is to launch somebody. Falling immunity. So that means it's probably... Hang on. Grants immunity to tripping from earthquakes, bananas, peels, etc. So that's actually really useful in some scenarios. Okay, this is locked off, but there is a pipe there if we can get through this gate at some point. Uh, but in the map, sometimes there will be switches that you need to press. Also, if you're running for a long enough, you'll start running faster, which is useful. Snake Man! Playing as Snake. I get it. Um... Wait, is this... Hang on, what's this... What's this, the things? This is a stamina battle. Enemy is easily distracted by items. So I think... That's actually probably pretty good. Let's go with that. Oh my goodness, this song is great. Oh my goodness, don't bomb me with the bomb chew. I'm somehow doing well right now. Ow. Forget that. No, don't bomb me. Bomb trees like to go around the object object that they're on until they hit and then until they hit a player and blow them up. There's a lot of explosions happening right now, but I think I'm done. Victory! Snake man, very nice. Another primary, and it's going to be very difficult to keep up with what primaries I have and leveling them up, but I'm probably going to just focus on using the higher ranked ones. Because they're just going to be instantly better than the rest. Okay, we've reached a new, new section over here, but I don't know if I want to be here just yet. Probably? Maybe. There's a lot of area over here we can actually X over there, which will actually loop around. But I think I actually want to go this way instead right now. Just because there's some more major stuff, I guess. It makes more sense to go this way first, I would say. Jury! Stamina battle, the enemy has increased attacks, attack power when the enemy is at high damage. Enemy favors side specials. Okay. Interesting. Don't know what exactly I want to do here. I think I want to do something... Like that, probably. Let me see if I can level uh, Don up. Okay, that seems a lot better. Let's go with this. Let's fight. Playing as Bayonetta. Ready? Go! Favor side specials, just gotta remember that. Jump power is down, that's not good for me because that means I can't dodge. What is this fight? What is this fight? I'm getting destroyed. Well, so you can use the right stick to actually do regular attacks and do, do them strong, so it's worth remembering. Come on. Oh, come on. 
Oh my goodness, you're comboing me really well right now. Nice. Fire. Hold that to burn. And you're done. You even got your final smash ready f to go against me. Jury. Poison damage reduced. If there's ever poison on the map, because that can happen in these battles, so... When we get to a battle where we have to avoid poison or reduce damage from poison, we are ready. Now there's a chest here, so let's go against a Biorex. From F-Zero series, that's interesting actually. Playing as Wolf. Well actually, hang on, what type of battle is this? This is a regular battle. Enemy becomes more powerful after eating. Certain items will appear in large numbers. After a while, I'm guessing that's gonna be food. You can usually guess sometimes. Item gravitation, stamina, do I need... I don't need stamina, I don't need poison either. I might... Um, I've already got made of metal. I might use Celeste so that the food comes towards me instead of him. Let's go. This should be a fairly easy fight, but still. Yeah, that was a fairly easy fight. <coughs> yeah. Fair, fairly easy fight, don't need to worry about it. It's, yeah, I slightly overkilled it, but it's okay. The hint's on the screen for such a short amount of time. Ten skill spheres. Very nice, let me look at that. What should I spend them on? Defense when healthy, breaking ability... Shield damage. Meteor smashes. Increases the power of moves that have a meteor effect. Battering items increases the power of battering items. That might be good for Kirby with his hammer. But I don't know if that's what I want right now. Special move power up. That might be good. Later on down the line. Except I don't have enough things for that at the moment. So I'm going to hold off, I think. And let's keep heading up this way. Wheezing. Playing as warrior. Stage is covered in poisonous clouds. We know what to do about poisonous clouds. I didn't... Hang on. Oh, okay, you can press R to actually look at the conditions again. That's strange. Anyway, let's use something smart, probably. Poison damage reduced. Is this a... No, it's not a stamina battle, so I don't know why it's recommending stamina to me. Use Fiora. And let's go. I can already guess what attacks he wants to use. Also, we still take damage from poison, we just take less. I believe there are spirits later on that will allow us to not take damage, but now is not the time. The time right now is Warrior's death time, because Weezing is gone. Fire and explosion something. I should have read that. I, I could have pressed the details as well. It's fine. I'll check it later. And by later, I mean like right now, probably. Once everything's loaded and the map extends itself. Light erupts from the fissure, blocking your path. We can't cross the bridge. Only way to go from here is up, other than going back down the other way. But anyway, let me quickly look at my spirits then, because I skipped over the thing. Uh, fire and explosion attack up. Okay, interesting. Don't know how useful that's going to be to us immediately, but it will be useful, probably. If I remember to use it. Oh, we're up to almost another fighter. Pico! From F-Zero, playing as Bowser. And he starts with a ray gun. Ah, uh, Snake Man. Not very strong. Oh my goodness, this looks pretty good. Let's go with that. I'm gonna destroy this spirit. 
enhanced ray gun. Ready? Go! Ow. I'm getting back into the swing of things quite quickly now. Anyway, got Pico. Another primary. And now, who's this? I think I actually know who this is. We can actually use that sh uh, that ship down there now that we have Pico though, which allows us to actually access that area down there. Because we couldn't before because we didn't know how to drive that ship thing. Which is a really cool way to do things because you need characters that can actually do things. And actually, now that I think about it, if I go down this way, I don't even think we can use this boat. Blocked paths. In order to continue on certain paths, you may need help from a spirit well suited to dealing with the obstacle in your way. So yeah, we can't actually use that boat. If you knew how to pilot a boat, you could cross the lake. So we actually are locked into going up right now. Other than going to this track down here and doing that. But anyway, let me have quickly look at who this fighter up here is. Lucario. Interesting. Let's take him out quickly. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. That's okay. Um, gonna be slightly under leveled here. I might just level up now. I recognize this theme from Diamond and Pearl. Oh my goodness, it's like right next to leveling up. Might as well do that. That's better. That's a fight. Got a thousand extra combat power than the enemy, so we should be pretty good. Win the battle to awaken the fighter, Lucario. Just gonna smash you a few times. And victory. That was really fast. Lucario joins the battle. Get a whole bunch of skill spheres. That's pretty good. That was pretty good. Anyway, I think with that, that is gonna be it for now. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. because we get to find out what that is.